Merry Christmas, BCC Kids! My name is Ellie. And I'm Jack. And welcome to our BCC Kids Christmas Sunday. It's great to see you guys. By the way, Ellie, really like your hat. Thank you, it's a turkey crown. Liking the Santa hat too. Thank you, thank you. So here to kick off our Sunday is BCC Kids and the team. And they answered our question for us. What is their favorite thing about Christmas? My favourite thing about Christmas is spending time with my family when we have our Christmas dinner and we pull crackers to receive funny jokes. My favourite part of Christmas is presents because it's good when you get to see the expression of people when you give them your present and it's also nice waiting for which present you got and you get to spend a lot of time searching for the right present to buy. Hello BCC kids, there is so many things that I love about Christmas but I will only tell you two of my favourite things that I love about it. Um, number one, the most things that I love about Christmas is when you guys get to perform in church. I always look forward to it because you guys are amazing, you guys are incredible and I love watching you guys. And the second thing that I love about Christmas is watching all the movies and all the Christmas cartoons. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Number three, I love eating all the chocolate, biscuits and sweets. Mary's Good News this can be found in your Bibles in Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 48. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a lady named Mary. She was engaged to be married to Joseph. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favoured woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, but how can this happen? I am not married yet. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy and he will be called the Son of God. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left. So Jack, why do you like the story? Well, this story brings good news and this year we haven't had much good news. You are absolutely right. It is nice to hear some good news sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Ellie, why is this story important? Well, this is how the Christmas story began. It starts with good news from an angel and it starts with a miracle. So this lady called Mary was going to have a baby, but she wasn't married yet. How strange is it to start a story like that, that mm. this lady was going to have a baby? Very strange indeed. So that's why the story is important. So Jack, what does the story have to do with us? It's important to know the meaning behind Christmas and where it came from. That's right, because Christmas came from a baby, a baby called Jesus. So each Sunday we're going to be looking into the Christmas story and we're going to be talking about this all month. So now it's time for craft. Let's go. Hey BCC kids, welcome back to craft and today we are making 
Marys like this one that you can hang on your tree or in your window. So what you'll need for this craft is you're going to need an A4 piece of paper, string, glue stick, hole punch, scissors, a pencil and some colouring pens or pencils. First you're going to take your A4 piece of paper and you're going to pick a colour to decorate this in. So you're just going to decorate this whole piece of paper front and back or if you have coloured paper you can use that instead. you've decorated your piece of paper or coloured it in a, a soft blue then we're gonna fold it so we're gonna fold it backwards and forwards so you're gonna take this lift so you're gonna take a little corner and you're gonna fold it down like this don't worry it doesn't have to be perfect there we go so you folded the front then we're gonna turn to the back and we're going to fold that piece of paper down to the back. Ooh. Here we go. And then you're going to turn it to the front. And you're going to do the same. Fold that piece of paper that you've kept folding down. Then turn to the back. And keep continuing until it's all folded up. folded like this almost like a fan you're gonna fold it in half like this and press down on it really hard then you're gonna open it back up all the way and you see where you've just folded it you're just gonna put your glue stick along that line right there into this shape and press down on it really hard and fold it because we want it to stay in that position. Press really hard. Then open it back up again like this and that fold we're going to hop put a hole in it using our hole punch. Ta-da! There's the hole. Then we're going to get some string and just tie it through this hole and this is where you're going to hang your Mary on your tree or on your window or somewhere in your house. Here we go and it should look like this. I know it still doesn't look like Mary but we're not far off. Then we're going to fold it again like we did before and we're going to take it high a little, take it, put your fingers here a little bit high and we're just going to make a little face hole for her and squidge down on it. Maybe I need to put it a little bit lower. Ta-da! There we are. And just, if you want more space, just move your fingers down and just press it against your fingers and it should look make a little hole like this. Then where you've popped your fingers you're just going to remove it and we're going to put some string just below her head. There we go, 
and it starts to look like this. Make sure you tie the knot really tight and that's just there for her head to stay in place. So now we're gonna do her a little face. So you're gonna draw a circle and then a rectangle attached to it so that the rectangle will stick to the top of her head so it won't fall off. And make sure you decorate her face if you want to. Here you go, it should look something like this. <laughs> a little head and a little neck, so a circle and a rectangle. And we're just gonna cut this out. Don't worry if it's not quite to size you can cut it down to make it smaller, but it doesn't need to be too big because she's only got a tiny face. Then once you've cut it out, you've got an adult to help you with that, fold the rectangle bit down, just give it a little fold and we're going to glue this top bit of the rectangle and we're going to make sure we stick it to our head. she has a little face. Now once you've stuck her face down you can start to open the skirt, the bit at the bottom that you folded, you can start to open that up. And that's your little Mary. So send in your pictures of your Mary into BCC Kids at bcc.life and we'd love to see them and pop them up on the website. So I'll see you again next week for another craft. Bye! So to finish our session today, let's all pray together. Put your hands together, close your eyes and bow your heads so you do not get distracted. Lord, I thank you for this story today and I thank you that you sent your only son to save us, Lord. Lord, I pray that this week we will learn to hear some good news, that we would spread good news, Lord, like the angels did. Amen. Amen. So that's it from us today, guys, and we'll see you next week for some more. Bye! Bye.